Are you planning to start an agro-based business when it comes to Telangana? Are you planning which crop should I actually start because you're not sure which is profitable? Do you want to know what are the most profitable crops in Telangana? Then you should continue watching this video because in this video, I'll be telling you more information about profitable crops in Telangana because these are the ones which have their own speciality when it comes to that particular place. And you can also understand which is more beneficial for you and you can also go ahead with this plan. I'm Varsha Rain Kumar. Welcome to the Freedom Farming channel. Do not forget to subscribe and download our Freedom app. Telangana, as we know, solely depends on the agro-based industry when it comes to economy. But do you know that what are the most and used features when it comes to this particular business? Do you even know that what are the most important crops that have been prioritized and help the profit margin when it comes to the entire structure of it? Moving on to the part where which crops are actually profitable here. First one is the wheat. Wheat is the most profitable cash crop in India itself. Moving on to the season of Rabi, it actually has more benefit when it comes to North and Northwest India. And thinking about the part where Telangana is actually one of the rapidly growing states when it comes to wheat itself, you can consider about this crop as well because it has its own speciality when it comes to this particular place. The growth of this particular crop can vary when it comes to temperature all the way from 3 degrees Celsius till the 35 degrees Celsius. It can be grown with a place supporting with this particular temperature which becomes much more easier for its growth. Next one is the rice. Rice actually is grown everywhere in India and India is the second largest place which grows rice after China. As we know that rice is actually grown everywhere in India. Mostly it is in the southern states and when it comes to the wide range and different varieties, they have their own speciality to this. The environment growing for rice is actually moderate and it can be grown in a more comfortable, suitable weather itself. So you can also plan of starting or cultivating rice when it comes to your start of the business in this sector. The optimum temperature that rice can be cultivated is that all the way from 20 degrees Celsius to 45 degrees Celsius is the right temperature and you can also think about if at all you live in an environment which is most moderate to this particular particular temperature, then you can go ahead and start. Next most popularly grown in Telangana is mustard. Mustard can actually be grown in dry and cool weather. 10 degrees Celsius to 25 degrees Celsius is the ideal temperature that mustard can be grown in. As we all know that mustard is actually the third most grown oil seed, but when it comes to Telangana, this has a wide scope. Next one is maize. When it comes to the entire growth of maize, India has its own speciality. And when it comes to states that actually support and grow this particular kind of crop is one is Karnataka and the other one is Andhra Pradesh. And you can actually make sure and this has wide scope in southern sides of the states as well. The ideal temperature that it can be grown is 21 degrees Celsius to 27 degrees Celsius. Next one is the millet. Crops like sorghum and bajra etc are actually included in millets as well and when it comes to the entire growth of this particular crop, it actually needs areas with high temperature and dry soil and this is very favourable when it comes to the places in Andhra Pradesh as well as Telangana. So this is majorly grown there and production for this particular crop is massive. Next one is sesame. Sesam is the most oldest and the most popular crop cultivated in Telangana. It is popularly known as Til and it is mostly cultivated in summer. These are actually Kharif and semi rabi crops and these are cultivated in more than 25,000 to 30 acres land in this particular state. Next one is Green Grams which is also popularly called as Moongal and this is cultivated in more than 1.5 lakh acres in Telangana. This crop is majorly grown in Nalgunda, Varangal and Kamham districts across the state because this particular pulse crop is in high source when it comes to protein. Next one is groundnut and groundnut is actually grown in more than 2 lakh acres around the state. It is the major crop when it comes to the state and moving on to the part which district grows it more, Varangal and Karimnagar actually has more growth. Crop rotation is actually very important for the growth of groundnut because this actually reduces soil brown diseases. Next one is cotton. Cotton is actually considered one of the most profitable cash crops. It's usually grown in the Karif season. It is actually a fiber crop and the cotton seeds are used to make vegetable oil. The ideal temperature where the cotton is grown is from 21 degrees Celsius to almost 30 degrees Celsius and this actually supports cotton for its better and healthy growth. Next one is castor. Castor is actually the oldest and the major oil production when it comes to Telangana. It is grown in more than 80,000 to 85,000 hectares in the entire state itself. More than 633 castor seeds is that have been used per hectare. The oil used from the castor seeds is actually used for many and multi purposes and this is why it has its own speciality when it comes to this particular state. 
Hope I've given you enough information. And when it comes to the most profitable crops of Telangana, and you can actually understand which one you have to start. And if you're planning to start this particular business, also download our Freedom Map because it's got more than 800 courses about business and marketing, and live mentors who are more than 1,500 will teach you how to start that particular business all the way from scratch, including the investment capital as well as the challenges they came across. Moving on to the part of personal finance. Finance is the backbone of business, and by this you can understand that you. Need need to learn a couple of subsidiaries and schemes when it comes to this particular sector. There is where we even teach you about that and then you can learn more and more in detail about it. Moving on to the organic farming part like these, you can also learn from our mentors who's going to teach you how to start these businesses and they are going to teach you all the way from start till the end by the equipment used and what are the investment to be put for each and every part of it. And there is where you can understand in detail how to start this particular business. Hope I've given you enough information regarding the app as well. That's a wrap on this video. Do not forget to like, share and comment. Get wise and break free.